If your trees are threatening power lines, the electric company can take them down. But while crews are at it, they may also clear everything else around them without your knowledge. A Lake Wiley man learned that the hard way, and he wants Duke Energy to plant new, smaller trees to replace the hundreds that were unexpectedly removed from his yard. So Nate Morabito is asking, where's the money? Let's start with this. What you may consider a small tree, Duke Energy considers brush. That's anything found in a natural area with a trunk about this size and diameter or smaller. Duke will tell you if they plan on cutting down a tree, but you may not get a heads up about the surrounding brush. Jim Oliver loves his backyard forest. We got gums, oaks, poplars. Especially vibrant in the spring. Yeah, there's a lot of birds. But some of the life here is now gone. This entire property was woods. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? A Duke Energy transmission line runs through Oliver's backyard. The company explained to him, for safety and reliability reasons, crews needed to remove a handful of his larger trees. You agreed to five trees, and you're saying they cut down hundreds. Yes, literally hundreds. Imagine his anger when he came home after a weekend away. This is the kind of stuff they left me with. To discover crews had cleared hundreds more than he had agreed to. There, there, there. If tree trimming is a necessary evil, brush clearing is the collateral damage. Maybe there was a miscommunication there. He didn't understand. But when we're working with that heavy machinery, all of that smaller trees and brush is going to come down with the five trees. Duke Energy spokesperson Logan Koreska says crews approached this case just like they do every other. We don't feel like, like we handled it wrong. She says while the company will go into detail about its plans for trees, it's up to customers to ask questions about the surrounding brush. Is it reasonable for the customer to expect that everything around those trees are going to be cleared? I think in an unmaintained area, um, especially if we tell them we're doing, you know, it will be heavy duty machinery. I think it's reasonable to understand that some uh, some additional trees would also be cleared. But again, if they have questions, they're certainly welcome to ask them or call our customer service line. Beyond the company's toll free number, customers can also complain to regulators. Public records identify more than 200 Duke Energy tree trimming complaints in the Carolinas since 2017. I mean, I paid for this land. Oliver says he didn't know about that option after crews came through in 2021. So he wrote the company a letter earlier this year instead. He says that complaint came back to his house, opened, and marked, returned to sender. They don't even want to talk to you about it. Just another layer of disappointment. Oliver has since reached out to Duke's customer service line to formally complain. For Wake Up Charlotte, I'm Nate Morabito.